Oh. Uh, rule number one in Dead Space. If you didn't kill it, it's not dead. If you killed it, it's still not dead. Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublikon here, and welcome back to Dead Space. Yes, Halloween, we are going to enjoy the dark and scary of this morbid dying place. Ah, uh, what goodness is this? Uh, we have our two people talking. Now, I really like the character development of these two. You have the girl on the left who immediately comes across as someone who has, like, a lot of knowledge, you know, about these ships and the like, but she's an immediate pessimist. And the guy on the right, a soldier, immediately going, we can get out of this, we just need to figure it out. However, she's quick to point out that he's going to kill them, which in reality, it's like, she's being pessimistic. And Isaac is just, you know, the child being told what to do. Anyway, um, sorry. It's scary, you know? Ugh. Oh. It's a little spooky, and I'm just taking an opportunity to enjoy the last few moments of these next videos where stuff isn't going to just come out and shoot me in the face. Alright, we have a left and a right. Any game, if it tells you to go one way, you go the complete opposite. <laughs> However, in horror games, it's so much worse of an idea. <gasps> However, in this one, it's not a diff easy game. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh. Rule number one in Dead Space. If you didn't kill it, it's not dead. If you killed it, it's still not dead. Watch it! 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 I should've just shot it! I should've just shot it! <laughs> uh, Alright. Okay. We're gonna save real quick. Alright, normally I like to avoid the save moments, but I, I might cut them out, honestly, though. This is Benson, Tram Engineering. We think we figured it out. Smith killed one. Listen, forget about shooting him in the body. You gotta cut off the limbs. Grab a cutter, anything like that. Cut them apart! Alright, so that's the second time they've made it very clear you gotta do the limbs. Well, I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I know I just did this. But you got this weird, like... I can't save wherever, right? So... If I had to like, and the reason they do that, which I think is great, is it really creates a new tension where I can't save before something and be like, all right, I got this. Like, uh, hello? Okay, so that guy wasn't dropped, he was just up there. Oh, sorry, once again, sorry, I know it's gross, but. You just, you just don't want to leave any corpses around. Isaac, be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. I wonder... By dismembering enemy limbs and doing extra damage. I wonder if, um... Like, when they were testing the game, if people just kept shooting them in the head. So that's why they spent so, like, that's the third time they've said shoot him in the limbs. Each time was more and more of an obvious, like, limb, 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 limb. The first time was kind of, like, secretive. Actually, four times, because there was the blood on the wall. It said shoot him in the legs or something. I really hope that's Dory. <laughs> Dory just talking to whales. Oh. This is a lot of fun. So it looks like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. Try using the stasis module you just picked up. Alright. 
This is a really cool game mechanic. Stasis puts everything in slow mo. Um, things. See how they like bounce around slowly and the like? So I'm gonna do this again because I wanna have full stasis when I walk through the door. Just because I can use this in combat as well. Alright, let's run through the door. There we go. I love this little bit of lore. You can see that other people got cut trying to go through here. One of the things I really like about this game is that you move just about as fast. Oh god. It's just the vent is so close. Is that you move just about as fast um, walking like with your gun up as you do walking with your gun down. Uh, a lot of games, you know, you slow down when you do that. This game, on the other hand, makes it so that it's, you know, it's really for that. However, you don't turn the camera as quick. So I have, like, see that? That's a lot longer than this. So it's like, I have to put down the gun to turn quickly. You're going that way? All right, well, obviously we uh, are gonna explore that way first. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, it's really dark. Oh. What's that even say? There's vents all over the roof. Man. Pawns. That's an interesting thing to scrawl on the wall. Oh. But there's stuff, alright? There's health, there's credits. There's, oh, look at all that plasma energy. Like, now I, I don't have to worry too much about ammo. There's health. Look at all these scrawlings all over the place. Keep us safe from the monsters. Oh God. Oh, why would the game do that? I don't know if you guys could hear that, but if you scroll back just a little bit and turn up your volume, it just whispered something to me. All right. All right, now I'm going to save. Okay. Man. You know, it's amazing how scary a spaceship is. It's like claustrophobic corridors, poor lighting. So it's like eternal, aw, oh, two vents, damn it. So it's eternally night. This is where you fix the tram. Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. God, those noises are scary. So it took me probably 25 minutes to get to here. The first time I ever played this game, I think I stopped after this chapter. Ooh, power node. These are very cool. Uh, they use, they're useful for upgrades, and they're also useful. How does this work exactly? It's clicking like it's a timer. I don't know. Stopped clicking. More stasis, okay. Uh oh, uh oh, I see one! Hey, hey! I, is there another? I'm listening. No, okay. God. Woo! <laughs> Look at the draw, eh? That was pretty sweet. I give myself props for that. <sighs> I gotta remember to breathe through my nose because I don't want to hyperventilate while playing a video game. Shit! Oh, hey! Hi! 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 Oh.
That was five shots. I gotta... Listen up, car eight is trashed. We managed to get it back to the repair depot, but now the auto loader is fried. I need a stasis module brought down here now. If we don't get this piece of shit off the tracks, it's gonna jam up the whole system. So, another thing that's kind of cool that I want to bring up. You know that frightening screech the game makes and the roar that these things make right before they attack you? That is amazingly valuable for an interesting reason. Oh. That's why I need the stasis. Here, check this out. So, it, I need the extra time to hit this button. Because it, well, the stasis would be nice. Retreating damage tram car. Please stand by. You know, this is gonna be noisy. Isaac, you did it. Oh, the tram is blocking the whole I'm system. I'm now you. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. Yeah, I've killed four? I think I've killed four of them. Those two. Oh, hey -oh. Hi! One, two shots. Alright, any more? Got six now. Three in this. Ooh, this one came with extra ammo. I took three shots. Two shots to a leg, one shot to the head once it's on the ground. Wait, now what? Where do I go? Back out that way? Yeah, okay. So, we've killed three in this room. One outside this room. Another one outside this room. I think I've killed six? Uh, you know what? You, we'll, we'll have to count. We'll have to go back and count. Oh, God. Oh, this room is not going to be safe, is it? Whew. Just taking a breather, all right? No judging the requirement of me to breathe. All right, here we go, we're going, we're going, we're going. We're going straight to the safe first, though. Oh, there's one, right up there, right up, oh God. God, damn it, that scared me. Whoa. I'm right in between the vents. Oh, I don't like this. My neck is tightening up. I gotta relax. Whew! Alright, alright, we're saving. We're gonna get to the tram. And then that's gonna be, I think, the end of the episode. So we got a little bit more to go, dudes. Alright. So we gotta go back through this way, huh? Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna try to use stasis and battle pretty soon. Because we, we're gonna have to use it on this door and they have a stasis repair, like thing right out here. And so, assuming that there will be a, you know, a guy to come out and attack again, which of course there will be. God, why would they have me backtrack? I feel like I should... Okay, quick check behind me. All right, we're good. All right, let me show you how the stasis works. Uh-oh. That one's fast! Ooh. Vertical switch. Alright, that one's dead enough. No, it's not. It's still not dead. Oh, okay, alright. Alright, quick. Stay, stasis. Okay. God, I had to shoot nine shots to do that. At least I got six back. Oh man, that guy can jump! All right, all right, all right. Hold on, we're we're alive. We're doing okay. More stasis is back. Whew, okay. Wow. There's more whispering. Those whispers really add a lot to the making it uncomfortable. Cause you like, what? Well, um, there was research done that found like people listening to a conversation on- Isaac, like, you still need to find the data board to the tram computer. 
It's in the maintenance bay. Oh. Well. All right, we're going to make it to the next save, and then that will be the end of the Isaac, episode. I've patched into the deck security system. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay unlocked. <gasps> the data board should be somewhere inside. I think it's better to have that gun sideways. All right, well, we got oh, we got rid of that guy already. So hopefully that means that it won't be another. All right, dudes. All right, we made it. We've hit this point. Woo! God. Heartbeats, eh? Anyway, so, uh, if you got... We, we don't really have much story yet, but if you guys want to start trying to figure out, like, what each one of the necromorph they're we call I call it they're necromorphs. That's you can if you go dead space bad guy you'll find that. So I don't feel too bad by calling them that. Um but uh looking at the word necro is for, you know, like um death and then morph, you know, so it's like a change. So it's you know, I keep killing the corpses because I know that they can become so it's kind of like I it's not too far of a stretch just off of the name and then the way that I'm acting that we could see that these things are probably dead crew members which is so somewhat so they had to die first which may cause the question like who was the first to die i guess is how i would look at it i'm not entirely sure how to answer that question because i haven't actually beaten the game so i don't know how it started um but we know that probably most like we hear some people are alive though we always get to them right before they die but they are alive so we should perhaps find some survivors which would be pretty cool uh, anyway, whew, we're going to keep going on this, but uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, give me a like for playing the scary thing. If you want to see more, subscribe. We got lots of the games like this, scary stuff, character. This is about the characters and story, and all of some other things. Anyway, thank you so much for doing so. It really helps me out. And of course, lovely dudes, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back, and the sun shine only on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.